because in most of your exercises you are going to have a graphical representation of things for that you can use graph you can use chart let me change it to graph so this is chart this is a form graph let me delete other things and the next thing there are several more things which will be which can be utilized as per your applications but these three things are very basic and you will frequently use them more commonly these charts and graphs are used for a particular waveform for a single uh, uh, for for a particular waveform which can be plotted against the number of iterations the basic difference between chart and graph is graph can provide graph can plot a particular array or a particular point for a defined instance for what i mean to say it cannot store the data while chart can have a memory and can store the data and can plot the things the way they are changing for example you input 1 it will plot 1 the next time you input 0 it will remember that you plotted 1 before and it will interpolate that to zero so let us see it through an example let me have this for loop only where do i need to go to while loop okay so we have three things chart graph and xy graph so let us plot and sine wave and this will be available in some math math to palette so i will go to mathematics so instead of numeric i will go to the second one and it's those trigonometric functions in trigonometric functions this sign is available what i could also do i can search it i could search it sign and you get this trigonometric function right so these are two different ways so let me take a sine wave control h we should always ask lab view for help that is the good thing so for any x this computes the sign of that x okay where x is in radians it is defining you that so we have to create a numeric integer let us take this number here as x and then uh, let us see if what happens if we plot it over a waveform chart so i will introduce them later let me show you the chart and then i will go for so this time i am not creating a control perhaps i am fixing it for 100 iterations okay and then speed matters let us have a little amount of time so that we can see things are happening at an interval okay so now i am plotting it oh my execution is on let me hide it you see so this is chart this is remembering the last the previous data and it is keeps on adding the things okay in instead if we had used this graph if we had used this graph okay so again another error what is this error it says the type of source is double okay a, a number the and the type of thing is 1d array okay so since we have a single number and uh, i told you that this can plot a value for a single point so for that we will need to put it outside once we will have the number for all these 100 iterations so i am connecting it here oh it is doing it by default which i, which I wanted to show you later so i am putting it here again it will ask for the array okay so let me do something i will explain it later okay so now i am running it 
so you see in chart it is remembering the last position for the graph it is not showing anything until unless we stop it or it completes 100 iteration so 100 iterations are completed but you cannot see anything here why because once you connect anything to outside of this for loop you get several operation several options out of which it is currently considering the go to tunnel mode it is currently considering the last value only so let me index it so what indexing means it will keep on concatenating the things it will keep on uh, building the array it will remember all the values and build an array and that array will be passed to this waveform graph and let us now run it again so you see you are getting the same thing but the only advantage of having a chart was we were able to visualize the thing the next comment can come why you have kept this uh, waveform graph outside if you keep it inside perhaps you will get the outcome as chart okay so let us do it i am keeping it inside again so since this is a single uh, number i it will not take it as it is so i am choosing this build array option so this will build an array of whatever is coming okay now i am running it you see it is not displaying the waveform but we have made an array it should have done that no it will not why because it is displaying the data for the current iteration for example if n is equal to 5 then whatever the value is that is only going here and you can see the y axis was changing as per the values you can see these values are varying from minus 1 to 1 so the y axis was varying but the time axis is fixed because time axis was considering only what is happening at the current time at zero so that was displayed here as a point so you could not see it and that is why you will you are always encouraged to use these graphs in concat in this indexing mode and then if you run it you will get the plot at the end so this is what a graph is in labview okay you can uh, increase this history by you see chart history length so you can increase the history length you can do some more operations as you want uh, one interesting thing is uh, you can export this data to excel also for further operation so this is the significance of chart and graph and then let me show you uh, xy graph also so in xy graph this is nothing new but you have to for example i connect this array thing here what is the er error it, it throws the type of source is 1d array of double we know for the wave waveform graph it is going 1d array of double but the type of thing is 1d array of cluster of two elements so that means you need to provide x and y to it okay and for that let me take let me tell you a simple vi here i took cos before just a nice program for you i will take the cosine of this also oh i i removed graph so in the xy graph it was asking for a cluster so for that i will go to this programming here in the uh, next to array there is this cluster functions so here i will bundle the things i will make a cluster and cluster of what cluster of this sign outcome i will tell you why i am taking choosing this program so sine and cosine are there and now i can connect it to xy graph what i am doing i am plotting xy graph for sine and cosine outcome and we know when we plot sine versus cos it will always be a unit circle that we know very well right sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 so 
the radius of circle will always be one. Getting it right? Uh, okay, let me run it. Oh, so this is not a perfect circle. Uh, you can see that this circle is there from minus one to one. And let me change my input. Let us have a smaller number. Let us try with ten. Okay, you see, this time it is touching from minus one to one, and it is perfect circle. And why this is one? Uh, just for the information, this radius is under root sine square theta plus cos square theta at a particular point, and that is always one. So that is why I took this particular uh, example so that you will have some understanding how this x y plot is being plotted. So we know what is the difference between chart and graph, and when to use these different type of graphs. We know that we can use these graphs for the representation purpose on the front panel.